Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the dev channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, version 24H2, build 26120.1330, KB5040543. So, without further ado, let's begin. Microsoft has started to implement the ability to duplicate tabs in File Explorer, using a context menu that opens when you right-click on a tab. The company has made several changes to improve the performance of the narrator scan mode. This is expected to make scan mode responses much quicker, especially while using Microsoft Edge, and reading through large documents. To try out scan mode, turn on narrator first by clicking Windows plus Control plus Enter and then turn scan mode on by pressing caps lock plus spacebar during a narrator session. You can now set different power modes for battery operation, when connected to a power source. In addition, several user interface improvements have been implemented. In settings, go to system then power and battery section. The logic of the end task option has been updated in the context menu for applications on the taskbar. Now the system will not display the application is not responding dialog to confirm the end of the task. The system info is updated to now follow your text size preference under the settings menu and accessibility, then text size. There are some fixes in this update like, fixed an issue resulting in the windows update page in settings not displaying correctly for some insiders when running in certain languages. The update to the build with the fix will download automatically, but you may have to wait a little longer. There are some known issues in this update like, insiders who join the dev channel on devices running Windows 11 version 24H2, will see repair version next to the new build name in Windows Update. This is normal behavior and will update the system to the latest build for the dev channel. The BitLocker recovery screen issue described at this link may also affect Windows insiders in the dev channel. Adding additional languages or additional features may fail with error, 0 x 800 F0811F. Windows Sandbox fails to launch on this build. Error code 0 x 8037010106. Task Manager may crash when navigating between pages. Microsoft is working on a fix for an issue, where graphs on the performance page use incorrect colors when switching back to dark theme. The company is working on a fix for an issue, where hardware keyboard text suggestions don't work correctly, the selected option is merged with the original. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.